Here are three ways to cut glass bottles. Get a string and wrap it around the bottle. Tie it to the bottle and cut off the ends. Take it off and soak it in acetone. Put it back on a bottle, preferably on a line that looks like a point where the glass is joined or a point where glass starts to bend. If you'll put a string somewhere else, most likely you will fail to cut a bottle or result will be horrible. Now light up the string and spin the bottle until most of the acetone has burned. Drop the bottle in a cold water. As you can see, cut is not perfect. Let's try another one. This one looks a little bit better. If you want a better cut and you want to be able to adjust the point of fracture, you can use an ordinary glass cutter and a duct tape or any other tape that fits your bottle. Push your glass cutter down and lightly towards the bottle. Now rotate the bottle until both ends of line meet. It's not easy to score line this way and it's very tiring and you need steady hands. Once the line is scored, heat it up on a candle and cool it down on ice. Repeat the procedure until bottle splits in two pieces. The best and the easiest way to cut a bottle is by using bottle cutter. I'm using Ephraim's bottle cutter. Once you have adjusted the cutting point, put the bottle on the center and turn it towards you until you hear crunching sound. Heat the scoring line on a candle and cool it down with ice. And again, repeat the procedure until bottle splits in two pieces. I must say I was going a little bit too fast. The split took me by surprise. You never know at what point bottle will split. It might split when you heat it up or when you cool it down, or sometimes in middle of both. Perfect! If you have enjoyed this video, thumbs up and subscribe. There are more bottle cutting projects coming up. Oh yeah!